So hey, hello guys. This is Uche Philip MRD from Ono Home TV. And on this episode of the show, we're going to be breaking down the updates on the Dangote refinery and what that means for you and what that means for um, scratch that. Dangote has been really seen as an aspirational figure. Dangote has been seen as uh, um, a figure that many people use as a sort of like a mentor. And his, his investment in uh, Ibejileki, touted as the biggest in this part of the world, in fact, biggest in the whole world, not just in West Africa, the biggest single line um, refinery. You know uh, where he's he allegedly says he's spending 12 to 13 billion dollars but um, official records show is around 9 billion thereabout you know so on this episode of episode of the show i'm going to be asking is dangote actually a fraud or is he for real you know personally i'll be leaving my bias out of this because um i have my personal opinions but recently you know we from a leak we heard that uh, the mpa i think uncovered that he was um, actually owing about 38 billion dollars you know, by illegal taxation or something around of that sort but let's look at the the uh, let's look at the the merits and let's look at the facts if you have somebody that is taking from official rates and is dealing with dollar at official rates to run his business you know recently recently he came out and he was he was like um, a campaign of calumny against um, him he claimed to be the victim and um, this um boa boa cement they, they came and they said that they could actually really reduce cement prices you know they could actually reduce cement prices but because of Dangote refinery they, they are making things so hard for the market and bear in mind that they are mining limestone here in nigeria they have tax breaks for that and so why is why is the price of cement increasing you know why is the price of cement so high and it's so high that nigeria right, like right now it's 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 called dot to build a house and developers you meet developers and say things are so expensive but like the materials the cement that they're using you know is so so expensive and if we are really serious about what we are doing, why is Nigeria that produces limestone, why do we have the highest price of cement? And so, it's always good to know what you're dealing with and cause and effect. You know, why you are paying 50 million naira for a triplex in, in less than 300 square meters. You know, because these things add up to how um, generally, um, eventually things would go go on and about. Where are you supposed to turn there? Okay, so what do you think about Dangote? What do you think? And, and bear in mind that his refinery now, this, this, this is a fact his refinery that is going to start off is going to rely solely on road for uh, transmitting over 650,000 barrels of crude along the Lekki Ekbe corridor. And he's, he's not going to rely on rail, he's not relying on any of such. And we have seen we have seen the playbook in the past dangote um cement trucks kill folks and i think the latest that that happened he paid the family just five hundred thousand naira. like like there's a history of his drivers being irresponsible on the road there's a history of his drivers uh, um, actually putting themselves in this situation no safety protocol and there's also a history of poor compensation and so now he's getting trailers and tankers on the road again to transmit crude your 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 it brings to mind the whole apapa story you will remember the apapa story apapa was actually a place where lots of the the the, the, the high and the mighty of the society lived and there was even a corona school there and it came came overrun you know because of the seaport that was there bringing things to the apapa port you know everything just became bad and this place is going to have another seaport this is like going to have another seaport Dangote already has his own private jetty there so we are seeing the problems like is this going to be another apapa story is this going to be another uh, you know, another case where i'm changing my energy so 
it is going to be another case where uh, we see uh, nepotism, aristocracy, and we see lots of uh, things that pillage businesses in this part of the world. So um, I actually, this guy was my hero a few years ago. This guy was like, ah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to who this guy is and what this guy does. But at the end of the day, Dangote is looking for money. Yes. How is he doing it? Does he have a story? You know, like, how did he start off? How did he get off capital? And I, I like, what irks me the most is that I, I, I saw a particular developer and um, they asked him, like, how did you start? He was like, ah, capital is not the thing with the brain, it's sense, you know. And I quite quite well agreed that it's sense. And he built one of the biggest estates and the finest estates in um, Abuja. But I did some digging and I realized that he got a contract from NMPC to build a, a, an estate. So, well, something is not balancing here. You are telling me that it's not about capital, but you have you you got like money from the government to do what you want to do. So, the point of this video is the future of Ibejuleki. Is Dangote actually a hero? Is he someone that we should aspire to? You know, it's is his story even relatable to the normal man? It's like a cement producer, <laughs> a billionaire. You know, lots of things. It raises more answers than questions. But at the end of the day.